opening every pack in Pokemon card history. From the 151 all the way to the original base set. And every Wizards of the Coast pack is first edition, minus the base set pack is a heavy pack, meaning there is more than likely a holographic card on the inside. But of course, I got something for y'all at home. The first item is an original Blastoise base set pack. The second item, yes, there's two, is another base set pack, this time with Venusaur on the pack art. If you would like a chance at either of these two vintage packs, you gotta stay tuned. Shall we begin? What is one of my absolute favorite things, and that's shiny cardboard and Pokemon cards. Starting out with the original, am I recording? Okay, we're, we're recording, at least I, I checked now, as opposed to like halfway through. We got 151, of course we got Paldean Fates, another quote unquote hidden fates coming out in January, but before, which is also my birthday, so you can say a pre preemptive happy birthday. But of course we got Scarlet and Violet 151. It's appropriate, right? It's appropriate that we start out with a set that is all about Generation 1, the OG Pokemon. So, without further ado, I'm gonna move these packs over. I'll, I'll keep them over. Whoops! There goes PSA 10 for that pack, but no, it's good. Shall we begin? Like I said, sit back, relax, get your favorite beverage, your meal, because this is gonna be a very fun video, nostalgic video. We got the code that's gonna go to somebody out there. Lots of stuff, lots of updates to talk about, about my life, about the channel. I promise you it will be fun. It should be just one card, I believe. Guess the energy, psychic energy. Of course, with 151, there's lots of amazing cards to pull. I still have not pulled every card because I haven't opened up as many packs as one would think. But we, we are, we have begun uh, of a, a video of massive proportion. And speaking of massive proportions of videos, the previous video that I did is a Marowak holographic. Previous video that I did, I actually made the biggest pack of Pokemon cards in the world. It was like seven feet tall with actual cards on the inside. If uh, you wanna go check out that video, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, definitely go check it out. We got the next pack that is Paradox Rift. Whether you love the new saga of Scarlet and Violet or not, I, I just have to say uh, the artwork for so many of the cards in these sets are just absolutely magnifique. They are just gorgeous. And so as a collector more so than a player, uh, but more so on the playing aspect later on in this video. Uh, I, I love it. I know the pull rates aren't, I mean, the pull rates are way more generous uh, than they have been. Guess the energy, leaf energy. But that being said, I'm really enjoying these new type of sets. Uh, Shiny Treasures DX, that's coming out actually, actually it's probably, it's already out by the time you are watching this video, so hopefully that's been a fun set, because those cards will be in the English version of that set, which is Paladin Fates coming out, I believe, January 26th, five days after my birthday. But Medical Energy, Steeny, Onyx, Zubat, and a Thievil Holographic. Uh, as far as like the other packs that we're opening up, obviously we got a trick or trade pack. This is the second rendition of it. We'll open up the first one, which came out last year. Um, there's nothing too crazy with these, uh, and I don't think I have many duplicates of packs, so you're gonna be getting just like the next set, after the next set, after the next set. So I truly do hope you enjoy that because there's, uh, you know, it's just gonna get crazier and crazier as we have a Marsh Shadow, but I like the difference of the pumpkins change right there. So if this is your first time checking out uh, Pokemon cards, uh, specifically as we have Obsidian Flames, Charizard, yay, I, I still have Charizards I need to pull from this thing, guys, uh, so hopefully I will. Uh, but there's just, it, it's just, it's crazy how much, yeah, they are pumping out the sets, but they've always done that. That's not a surprise or anything, uh, but it's just been so fun, Lightning Energy. Uh, it's been so fun being able to collect the cards, being able to actually go and uh, play just for fun for myself. But I do have a competitive team called Team Rare Candy filled with a couple 
uh, actual better, much better players than myself. Uh, great players and people as well that are uh, part of the uh, competitive Pokemon TCG community. So definitely go uh, check out your local store to uh, see if you can get it in some of the local leagues or pre-release events that they're doing as well. We have Paldea Evolved. And one thing when I was telling myself as far as doing another type of video like this where you're opening up every single pack uh, in Pokemon card history. Uh, all of these packs, by the way, I purchased them relatively recently. Just to be very fully transparent, none of these packs are for sale. I did, this is not like a box break or anything. I did not sell these packs ahead of time. These are from my personal collection. Uh, I did spend over $20,000. Yes, you heard that right. I spent over 20,000, so I am in no way uh, actually making my money back out of the pools. I don't suggest you do something like this. Um, I'm doing it because I love opening up the cards and I have this chance to, to kind of make history by opening up every pack like this. And while I don't, uh, all the money that I do get from my ad revenue or anything from my channel, 100% of it, I put it right back into the channel so I can do the absolute funnest and craziest videos like you are seeing, like the biggest pack video as well. So when you do go and watch the videos, when you hit the like button, when you let me know that you do enjoy them, that really does mean a lot to me. It really does mean a lot to me. Sorry, I didn't do Guess the Energy because I truly am passionate more so about the creating content aspect of the channel uh, than you know the other aspects of it, like the less businessy aspects of aspects of it. So I do really do appreciate y'all uh, coming here and joining me today, um, because yes, it was a lot of money, but yes, I truly enjoy our verse pull of the day. Can you do it with me, little fishing rod? It's a super saiyan rod, excuse me, and a tinkaton but a beautiful gold, you can say it with me, golden super rod for our first big hit of the day. We are approaching the final, or at least the first pack. It is, I don't need to do quotes. Uh, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I still have not pulled the golden rare candy card. Why are you like, why do you care about a golden trainer card? They're nice, don't get me wrong. Uh, but that being said, uh, that because, the uh, Rare Candy is my competitive team, but also my uh, my card shop, my card store that I have as well is called rarecandy.com, uh, Leaf Energy. And we get it, pats on back. And so I always just hold that very, very uh, synonymous of, I gotta pull the Rare Candy of all things. So Shroomish, Mankey, EXP Share, Penny, Professor's Research, Cacnea, and another, we got two of the professors, re we got the whole research gang going on here. They, they, they can make more babies, of course, Arvin. All right, guys, here's the time you've been waiting for, for a chance at a seal, just so you can see the back as well. Seal. Original, base set, vintage packs, Blastoise, Venusaur. Subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video. And of course, comment, let me know, what is your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon of all time and why? Emphasis on the why. I will personally comment with a verified check mark on your comment if you have won either one of these packs. Probably in about a week or so. And remember guys, I never ask for anything with Telegram or anything like that. These are completely free, okay? Because there's a lot of fake accounts out there. So I wish y'all all the best for these vintage packs. Putting those over here, we gotta move on. We gotta move on, we're still recording over there. Moving on with Crown Zenith. Uh, pretty fun set. You got the golden legendary cards, which I still have those to pull. Uh, believe it or not, I have a lot of cards from all these sets, which I will tell you the hits that I really would like to pull for the day. Is this, uh, oh man, I think this is the f the four then. If I'm if I'm forgetting fire energy, no, we got it right, okay. When you're talking and multitasking and stuff, you know, I get friends when they come and try to do like the camera and open a pack at the same time and their first impression is like, wow, this is a little bit more difficult to do with the multitasking and everything than I thought. Um, but we got a fun time today. Silver Tempest, uh, I have pulled the Alt Art Lugia. Um, I don't really, that was pretty much the main card. I think I pulled that in like my first booster box that I opened up as well too. So four cards, psychic energy for the guest, the energy. Um, so we will see what we can do in this. But 
Uh, I wanna make sure I hit on plenty of stuff to talk about today while we're opening up the packs, uh, especially the, I guess, not as exciting packs. Drowsy, Togedemaru, a superior V-Star. Not bad, not bad. Uh, but basically, um, I, I had as we moved to Lost Origin, my wife and I had a baby. Her name is Ellery. She's about to be 14 months old. I know, time flies by, and it's been amazing to make memories. Um, I've also used that time to uh, not do as many videos as my computer's making noises. To do as many videos, uh, to concentrate on making more ones that I'm just more passionate about, and hopefully y'all enjoy too. Uh, but that being said, I've really missed that the community aspect of. Uh, I used to do like, I think it was four videos a week or three videos a week. Um, before I changed, and I really kind of want to get back to just posting more videos, uh, water energy, because I just, I don't know, I just, I felt like I'm missing that connection as much. Like, yeah, I go through the comments and we, we're on Discord and all those other things and on social media, which is great, and y'all should go follow my socials, by the way, but, because I do post a lot on there and I'm very active on those. Uh, but as we get a beautiful Pikachu card in a Barbarical, uh, I, I really want that to crave that interaction more uh, with more videos and involving all, of course, too. Um, and so uh, I think as we have the very first rendition of the Halloween trick or trade packs, I think uh, I think I'm gonna post a bit more often of more regular unboxings, but I do have a, a, an even bigger surprise, which I'm not gonna announce in this video, but just so you know, um, if you if you can, if there is the, the notification bell, if that's even still such a thing, pl uh, please, 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 ding, ding, ding. That's me getting your attention, ring the notification bell, because I want y'all to be ready for the next type of uh, videos. My favorite card from this one, actually, is the Gengar. Uh, my, I, 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 I'm excited. I wanna get back to doing more regular boxings. Uh, again, I'm not gonna just post videos to post videos, but there'll be hopefully videos that y'all uh, at home and part of the Heart Squad truly, truly enjoy water energy as much as I enjoy filming them. Uh, because like I said, as we got the rare candy, very nice. It looks tasty, right? Uh, I, I really do enjoy uh, like, uh, you know, I was uh, I was doing actually a video with Real Breaking Nate actually uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, great creator in person, Tyranitar, Pokemon Go card. And uh, we were just reminiscing about like the older times, uh, Astral Radiance, I promise you, I'm not going to ramp on you. Uh, older times of, you know, we'd go to the, the store way back when uh, and just, get like the old mystery power boxes and stuff and just checking out the selection. I'm talking like 2015 guys, 2014, uh, more specifically uh, fighting energy. Um, and all of those videos are still on our channels, on my channel. Uh, I started like the, the whole series of the buying Pokemon cards videos of going to the store and actually like filming yourself at the store and filming your selection like way back and like, uh, I, I mean, it's been a decade. It's been a decade of, of making videos and stuff, and it's been just so much fun. We got the Attack on Titan. We got the Attack on Titan. I haven't seen the ending of the show yet, so don't spoil it. Gardena's Vigor. Very, very cool full art trainer, but it's just been so, it's been, you know, just great reminiscing, and that's what kind of also got me after that chat. We have brilliant stars now of really wanting to create that just regular type of unboxings. But again, I'm still gonna be doing these higher quality type of videos that I've been doing, like the biggest pack, like the uh, vending machine video. Uh, for those that are new, I made a Pokemon card vending machine, actually. Uh, the video is my trailer of my channel. So y'all should definitely go watch that one if you have not after this. Uh, it's called I Made a Pokemon Card Vending Machine. One of the best experiences ever as well in my entire uh, YouTube creator career because uh, what I did was, as we have Fusion Strike, by the way, I still have not pulled, in case for y'all out there that are like wanting to know, what have you not pulled? Uh, I have not pulled the Alt Art Mew from this set. And this is this is fact that it's gonna be happening in this pack that we are, because Mew's on the pack art. Set it right now, Heart Squad. But uh, I, uh, man, I'm completely forgetting what I was saying now. <laughs> what are you doing this to me? Maybe I'll remember before. Maybe it's like the regular unboxings, the higher quality videos. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, dark energy. Nope. But in any case, 
if I ever remember what I was just about to say, see, it's a bit more difficult than it looks like to try to remember. Tynamo, Meowth, Indeedy, Crab, V, Ultra Rare. Maybe it is about like the regular unboxings. My goodness. We're all the way back at the 25th anniversary of Pokemon for celebrations. Another absolutely uh, milestone of not just Pokemon, but of the channel as well. And doing YouTube for so long, uh, I just still remember when this set came out. Now look, I'm like talking like an old man here. I remember when this set back in my day. I mean, it's funny, it's just time flies by. And it's been a couple of years since this set has come out. Let's see if we can get one of the classic old cards, classic collection cards. Uh oh, and we did a Zekrom full art and a surfing Pikachu. Uh, I know that one's not too rare. This, I mean, not, either of these probably aren't the most rare, but it's just, I'm so glad in a video like this that we can really just, is it in my recording? I'm just making sure we're recording. Uh, I really just showcase, really just showcase uh, all of the uh, beautiful cards. We got Evolving Skies, Umbreon on the pack art. I know we didn't just pull the Mew. Maybe we get a little Moonbreon action or any of the Evolution alt arts would be a lot of fun, but there's the code for that. Uh, four card, I really wish I remember what I was gonna say, water energy. Was it maybe like the types of videos that I was gonna be doing, the, the, the regular openings and then the higher quality videos too, the Pokemon card vending machine video. Uh, more surprises to come, ooh and ah. Uh, guys, we got Chilling Rain. I haven't pulled the Golden Snorlax, nor have I pulled the uh, Alt Art, the Blaziken Alt Art VMAX. My cousin Josh pulled that one before I even have. Kudos to him though, I'm not mad. Okay, fire energy, maybe just a little. The fire, I'm pissed. Peonia, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Venipi, Sveal, Crabrawler, Crabadamanamanol, Sazbuck. Nothing in that one. Guys, we got everybody's favorite set, Battle Styles. Now, before you're like, I know, I know, we love it so, so much. It does have the Golden Houndoom in it. It does have several Urshifus in it. Okay, maybe not so much the Urshifus, but the Golden Houndoom is really nice. Water Energy. Uh, we've gotten one uh, Guess the Energy today. That's the Guess the Energy for Leaf, Bronzor, Spoink, Gligar, Scatterbug, and a Claydol. Moving on. All right. We got the second rendition of Hidden Fates, that Shining Fates. This was fun for the time, but obviously it just, I, I, I really just think it needed more of the, uh, you can call me a Gen 1-er, it just needed more of the original generation Pokemon more so than the newer one. I know that was not really gonna happen, but that's what made uh, Hidden Fates, I think, I don't know, I just feel like the quality of the cards, uh, fighting energy from Hidden Fates to Shining Fates just went downhill. Like, it's just not as fun. If it had more Gen 1 Pokemon, I think that was the key for Hidden Fates to be so successful. Uh, Decidueye, so just the holographic was there. Now guys, this is gonna be the funniest thing of the whole day, and you can laugh, even give me a courtesy laugh, haha. -ha. Vivid Voltage. There's a card, there's a character from Pokemon, from the games, from the show, from the card game. His name is Leon, my name. I still have not pulled the Hyper Rare Leon from Vivid Voltage. That is correct. It has been how many years? 2020 since Vivid Voltage came out, maybe? It's the one card from this set that I I, I haven't pulled. I haven't pulled it. I know. If we pull today, I will get up and dance. You, I, I promise you. And I'm not crossing my fingers because you're seeing my fingers on the screen right now. Fighting energy. Let us go. I mean, in a recent video, when I opened up uh, all the generations of packs, not too long ago, a couple of months ago, I did pull the uh, Rainbow Pikachu from a Vivid Voltage pack. Ferris Seed and a Zekrom. So, I'll see you in another year by the time I open up uh, a pack and hopefully pull it. We got Champion's Path. Uh, I think it has the two Charizards in this set. It's, again, it's, it's a decent set. It was very, very fun uh, because of the Charizards when it originally came out, Metal Energy. And, uh, and that was kind of it. There's some nice full art trainers as well. We got a Carvana, na na na. You can say it with me, zigzagoon. See, that's what I'm missing about doing like the regular type of unboxing videos is all of the cool sayings that we have together, you know, inside jokes and pulling holographics like that one. Oh, it's okay. But that's what's fun about it is you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates. Darkness a bit, a blizz. Uh, we got the Charizard VMAX, it's pretty much one of the best cards, if not the best, from the set. 
We got, uh, what have I not said? Uh, lightning energy. I have said that, but I think I've said everything else at this point. Uh, we got a Pupitar, Mareep, Stubble, Tauros, Rookity, Mr. Mime, Broccoli, and a Grimmsnarl V. So a regular ultra rare, nothing too crazy. Uh, we have another set, as I check to make sure we're recording. Uh, we have another set, a card I have not pulled is the boss's orders hyper rare. Uh, I have pulled the regular full art version, just like the Leon one from Vivid Voltage, but I just haven't pulled the hyper rare. So boss's orders, rebel clash. There's the code for that, four cards. Leaf energy, fire energy, metapod, burning scarf, Alina, Scyther, Valaby, Dreepy, Magmar, Yamas, Darumaka, and a Caesar non-holographic. Well, we've finally, I felt like that took a long time. Uh, we've reached the end of Sword and Shield or the beginning. And uh, yeah, there's some nice cards. The golden, uh, what is it? I'm forgetting their names. The legendary Pokemon, you know what I'm talking about. We'll see what we can do. Steel energy or metal energy. Uh, I'm, what are, what are, is there, no, not Xerneas. That's X and Y, that's later on. Uh, whatever, those two type of dog things. Quick ball, sand kind of got none, hun. Moving on to sun and moon. Very, very fun set. I would say we're we're like, all of a sudden it's now like, whoa, like for the rest of this video pretty much. Cause you got Cosmic Eclipse. It's not just the, the Charizard and breaks it. And in fact, I don't even think that's the number one card from the set. There's some other playable cards in this set like the Blastoise and Piplup as well. Uh, Fire Energy, very nice. Pat's on back in, I believe, his fairy energy back from the dead as well. Jolteon, Cotney, Rallette, Phantom of the Opera, Grimer, Magnemite, Duglet, and a Heliolisk. And then there was this set, Hidden Fates. One of, if not the best set, not the best set of all time, but it's one of the best sets of all time. Um, I had went to Pokemon Worlds in Washington DC 2019. This set came out like the next week after and it was just such a magical time. I used to go to the stores. Um, I was telling Nate this the other day. We, we would go to the stores and because it was such a popular set at the time, people would go in and just buy out all the tins and stuff that they had. However, for my videos, you know, I, I needed to do videos. And so instead of buying out all the tins at one store, I can't believe I did this, but I would still do it today, even though it wasted so much money and gas. We'd go to like a Walmart or something, buy a few tins because I needed more for the video. I literally drove to other locations to buy a few more tins, left the rest of them at each location so other people can get them. And I would go as so as far as going like an hour driving uh, just to make sure that there was enough tins for everybody. Yeah, so fun times other than that, but let's see what we can do. Uh, there's not just the Charizard in this beautiful set. Fairy energy, rest in peace. Uh, there is so many other evolutions and full art trainers, Mewtwo as well, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Pettis, and we have done it! A shiny full art Glaceon and a Pinsir GX, but a beautiful one of the evolutions. I think like Espeon and Umbreon are probably the top two but I will take it for a one pack magic. Say it with me, one pack magic. Thank you so much, uh, Tom from Minnesota. Moving on, hidden finds, unified minds. Well, your mind could be fairly hidden at the same time, just making sure we're good on time. Uh, when we opened up this set, that was like right when Pokemon Worlds was happening. So I remember doing a collaboration video, which is on the channel, might I add, with uh, Super Duper Danny, Unless It Leaf, Real Breaking Nate, Jordan Fringe. Uh, uh, I think that was it. If I'm forgetting somebody else, you can yell at me. But uh, Metal Energy. Um, but we did a cool opening of this, and I, I think we did actually pull the Hype Rare Mewtwo in Mew, or at least I did pull it fairly soon after in a video on the channel. So this set, I was ready to move on pretty fast because I had pulled. What I wanted to pull, oh, a golden weakness guard energy. Beautiful, that is really is, is that not a beautiful card? A weakness guard energy, I will take it. I don't even know if I pulled that one yet. So many memories. Uh, I can't wait to go into more of the memories, but um, Broken Bonds, very, very difficult pull rates, meaning it's hard to get good cards in this set. But not the, well yeah, the Charizard was actually pretty hard. It's one of my most popular videos on the channel is I would go to the library, open up packs there, 
trying to pull the best cards like the Charizard and Resh, the Reshizard. I finally pulled it after who knows how long it took, over a year at least. Uh, and I pulled it in the library. Joyous occasion. Videos on the channel. Definitely go check it out. But uh, let's see what we can do. Pull it. You think we're gonna pull it here, Leaf Energy? Fairy Energy, rest in peace. I salute you, Fairy Energy. Hit him on top. Esper. Guys, I see something in the background. It's probably just a regular ultra rare, but we can dream. It's a Lucario and Melmetal GX tag team card. It's a little duo action there between Melmetal and then Lucario, very popular Pokemon. Sorry, Melmetal. Moving on, Detective Pikachu. I guess, I, I don't know how, if they, they can't really make another Detective Pikachu movie because Ryan Reynolds turned back into Ryan Reynolds. Because Ryan Reynolds always is Ryan Reynolds in movies. But don't get me wrong, he's still a really good actor. He's just Ryan Reynolds in every single movie, like Van Wilder. All right, Detective Pikachu, uh, hopefully we get Legsy. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about if we get Legsy. But otherwise, we want to get like a Mewtwo or something like that. Morlul, Bulbasaur, Jigglypuff, Arcanine. Not bad. I mean, the movie was good. It wasn't great or anything, but it was good. It was like really good. And I don't think they'll make another one, but they really need to make like a, a, a more dark setting of just follow the Kanto League and make that into a real movie or at least a formula blueprint from that. And I think Pokemon will have so much massive success. They took the IP of Detective Pikachu, an IP part of the whole massive IP that is Pokemon of one that is not really popular and they made a movie off of that. Maybe it was a test, I don't know, like uh, Arceus was, but I'm digressing. Team up. Guys, ding, 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 ding. Don't just hit that notification bell, but you gotta pay attention. Sabrina, full art trainer. I have yet to pull it from this set. The other card that you really want to pull is that Latius Latios. Beautiful, beautiful card. You, you, my voice is gone for the rest of this opening if we pull either of those, but let's see what we can do. We got a, we got a fairy energy here. All right, fire energy. Let's see what we can do. Dragonair, Toracat, Brock's Grit, Klefki, Philosopher Pidgey, yay! Inside joke. Emolga, Magikarp Army, Eggs, Viridian Forest, and the search continues. And the search, and the search continue. Lost Thunder, it's a very fun set. I think there's a nice Lugia Hyper Rare, Nine Tail. Oh, I'm hitting my camera. <laughs> well, this is a lot of fun. We're recording, we're good on time. Shall we continue and not get inter getting interrupted? All right, let's go with Psychic Energy for the guest the energy and see what we can do. Skip to my loom. We have an Onyx, Ralts, Cyndaquil, Pineco, Combi, Wiggly, and a Jump on it, Jump Bluff, holographic. Then we have another subset, Dragon Mas Dragon Majesty, uh, Golden. There's one Golden card, basically one good card in this set. That is the Golden Ultra Necrozma card. Now, if since then there's been cards that have just jumped up uh, that are more sought after, you can definitely let us know in the comment section below. I welcome that as well. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything about every single set at every time. That being said, Fire Energy. I just remember it was a lot of fun going after the Golden Ultra Rare Necrozma. Bagons, Bugab, Bagons, Torchic, Charmander, Dratini. Very nice reverse fighting energy. Whoosh. And a Blaine's Last Stand. I feel it wasn't this card in Hidden Fates as well. Or am I thinking of another type of Blaine card? In any case, full art trainer Blaine's last stand. Really cool, love the stash. Reminds me of a uh, Sonic, which they're coming out with the next Sonic movie. They announced it, it's December 2024, unless it gets delayed. Uh, we got Celestial Storm, ding, 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 ding. Another card I have not pulled, the Hyper Rare Rayquaza. The, one of the top cards from this set, again, uh, it's good. I, it, it makes it fun not being able to pull the hard card, but it's also like, how many packs is it going to take you to pull this thing, Leonar? Lightning energy. But l let's see if in any of these type of videos where I'm only opening up like one pack like this, the, the authors are so astronomically difficult to pull that one card you want. Uh, and it's, I don't think it's ever happened. So maybe today it can happen because we got some nice cards to go after. But not today, not with that pack. Moving on, we got Forbidden Light. Another Necrozma. Um, 
honestly, one of the more downer sets, I can say, because the next set, Ultra Prism, is a lot of fun to open. Leaf Energy. But that, that being said, there's still some pretty nice cards in this set. Tyrant, Sligu, Snover, Scatterbug, Rockruff, Skrelp, Litleo, Poipole, and... Evil Disney Queen, Malamar. See, it was, it was evil sad. No. We got Ultra Prism. We got Ultra Prism. You're not gonna wanna know the set after this, trust me. Okay, maybe you wanna know the set after this, but you'll see, stay tuned. Uh, what do we got here? There's a nice full art trainer in this set. Leaf Energy, very nice, pats on back. Let's see, is it the, uh, is it the Cynthia? Or the Caitlyn? Stunky, Young Goose, Roselia, Cosmog, Shaman, Rampardos. At least it's a holographic. I know they're guaranteed in the modern sets now, but in these, you know, older sets, it's not, these are not old, but they're old, Sun and Moon. I guess it is pretty old. What, like 2017? Yeah, I'm getting old. Crimson Invasion. I just want to pull the Buzzswole and see those big old pecs on Buzzswole. The muscular bug, it's a muscular bug. Fairy energy, rest in peace. Uh, pull rates are astronomically, as I love that word right now, difficult for this set, Crimson Invasion. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Bibbidi boo, it's a pumpkin boo. Execute, execute, and a Regirock. All right. We have a very, very fun set here. It's a subset, Shining Legends, actually. One of the most popular videos on my channel is just a, I, I had made a, a, a booster box of Shining Legends because you can't get booster boxes of the subsets. You can make your own 36 pack one of it. And I did that and that video has over a million views. No idea why, uh, but it's a fun set. You got Shining Mew, Shining Arceus. Uh, I, I, is there a Mewtwo? Now I'm forgetting. The Laboratory Mewtwo! You have the Laboratory Mewtwo that the Pokemon Center is basically kind of based off of. Obviously the movie, of course, but uh, Leaf Energy. Uh, you are guaranteed a hit in every single pack, whether it's a hollow or above. Hopefully we can get something above, because I, I don't seem to be getting that. Pirate Litten's back. Reloom. Voltorb's pissed off at the sun. Nice energy. And it's done! It is done! A shining Mew in the Mew pack. My voice, my voice is gonna be gone. Isn't that not beautiful? It's off center, don't get me wrong, but I'm putting that one in a sleep because that is gorgeous. A shining Mew has been pulled. My goodiness, that's gorgeous. And then we're moving on to another set that's very uh, close close to my Pokemon heart. That is Burning Shadows. Difficult pull rates. Of course, it's got Ace Rolla Trainer. It's your boy Guzma, full art trainer. And then there's the hyper rare Burning Shadows Charizard. Part of my series that I used to do on the channel where I would go to public locations uh, with my just my phone. Could be parks, malls, and I would open up Pokemon cards in front of people and just in general. And people would be like, what are you doing over there? Oh, you're opening up cards. Trying to pull a card that took me so long to pull. Like it was a year and a half it took me so, uh, to pull the Charizard. I pulled it. There's not just one video. The next opening I did, like the next day, I pulled it again after a year and a half. Both of those videos are on my popular section of the channel if you wanna go check those out after you're watching because it was a lot of fun in my old studio. So you can go check out old Lena Hart that has more hair, uh, that has more energy from before it did way back when. Time, we are still good on time. <laughs> time is fleeting. Uh, wait, is it four cards? Yeah, it is. Uh, fairy energy, rest in peace. Well, let's see what we can do. Get one of those full art trainers. That'd be nice. Uh, the unthinkable, getting another Charizard. Sneasel, then a Pete, Survivor, and a Lucario holographic. But that's what's fun about going through uh, all of these sets, because this has the double colorless energy as the, the top card at the time when this came out, and I did my series. I was at the mall. I was at the Stonebriar Mall in Frisco, Texas, and I was at, I was, I was at the food court. Again, videos on the channel, uh, Fighting Energy. And I pulled the double colorless energy, I think, at the food court. Uh, and I was so em em embarrassed. Wait, hold on. Altar of the Moon. And then Altar of the Sun, in that order. Uh, but I pulled it in the food court. I don't think it was too crowded, but you can see people's reactions to it. Because I, uh, I was having a lot of fun. But speaking of reactions, Sun and Moon. The Ultra Ball Golden Trainer card. 
my first ever opening up Pokemon cards in the library uh, adventure, because not my first video in there. I was trying to pull that card. And then again, also in my popular section of my YouTube channel, you can go check out. There's a, that's a section, like a playlist. I didn't call it that. That's what it's called by default. Uh, it's, I pulled the Ultra Ball in the library. Just like the Charizard. It's a, it's a series that I could start again if y'all want me to. Maybe I will. But in any case, I've only pulled it once. Fairy energy, rest in peace. I've only pulled it once, ever, in my entire YouTube career, and it was at the library. Shall we do it again today on Dragon Ball Z? Nintendo GameCube, not today. See, I told you it's so hard. Well, that was Sun and Moon, my friends. We are now moving on to XY Evolutions. And again, Storytime Lean Art has another story about this set. When it came out, Pokemon Go had came, uh, came out as well, July 2016. That summer was, uh, there was world peace. Uh, people were uh, coming back into the Pokemon TCG, coming back into Pokemon, another amazing creator, Rhyme Style. Uh, I, that's when I first got introduced to him at the time uh, because he left a comment on one of my videos. And then you know, now we're friends ever since. Go check out his channel, by the way, Rhyme Style. Um, in any case though, that was such a magical time, but uh, once Evolutions came out and then it kind of did its thing, uh, Pokemon World Championships in DC, Pokemon was handing these packs out like willy-nilly to people uh, in the long lines and you couldn't give these away for free at the time. And then of course things got pretty crazy and now it's where it's at again. It's a, it's a, a pretty popular set. And also, again, oh, three cards. No guess the energy. No guess the energy. I almost had me there. Uh, what started out, I think, was my very first Where Are You At series, where I went to those public locations that was trying to find the Mega Charizard EX Full Art. So, definitely would rather have that than the regular Charizards. Uh, you got the reverse Charizard, the reprint one, the hollow, and then the Full Art. Nidoran, Poliwag, Poliwag, and a Chansey! It's always cool opening up an Evolutions pack, I think. Got a Chansey holographic. Then it's a pack we just, guys, we just gotta open. We just gotta open it. No, I'm kidding. I used to dislike Steam Siege. I'm not really sure why. Um, but ever since, I've grown fond of the artwork and the illustrations and the type of cards in this set. So again, I'm making another public apology to Steam Siege. I'm sorry, Klefki, but also give me something really good to pull. Captivating Pokebuff, Flaffy, Lit, C-Dot, Plauncher, Duat, Ding, 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 Volcarona. That's why I love that Pokemon. That's literally the main reason why. You got Fates Collide. I remember when this set came out, uh, the channel was way much smaller at the time, but uh, I would try, yeah, like Barnes and Nobles, uh, when I was there, Noble, uh, when I was shopping for just books, <laughs> surprise, uh, they had Fates Collide packs out early. So I was like, I'll open those up on the channel. And I was able to, and it was a lot of fun because this set has Mega Alakazam EX, one of the best, best, best cards of this whole series, this whole line that I love. Uh, three cards, I almost did the guess the energy. Um, so if we can get a Mega, Mega Alakazam EX, I'm not sure if this card's in this set, but I love the variations of Pokemon Fan Club. Seal, uh, I'd go crazy. Jigglypuff, Fennekin, Snivy, Shauna of the Dead, love it. And, oh no way, it's the Mega Alakazam! It's the Mega Alakazam! How about that? I gotta keep my voice. It's the Mega Alakazam EX that I was talking about. My goodness. I told you, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Thank you, Fates Collide. Coming back, Mega Alakazam EX. That's insane. We got the card I wanted to pull. I pulled it before, I pulled it. I've pulled it before, I was just checking time again. Uh, speaking again, fun sets, I don't know how we move on from that, but the packs are gonna get crazier as we just keep on going. And we're still uh, recording. Sorry, uh, Mav, my editor, I keep looking that way. <laughs> Generations, fun time. This was the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Uh, how long has it been already? Like seven years ago? Uh, but in any case, uh, Jolteon, was Jolteon EX was the number one card at the time. I think the last time I did a video like this, we did pull the Jolteon EX, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but that was the number one card. I don't know what the current number one card is, if, if it's not the same. But we do have some Radiant Collection cards as well. You'll notice by the RC down there, and then these little uh, badges on the left side. Metapod doing something to a tree. Pikachu. 
Fairy Energy, rest in peace. Zubat, Magmar, Red Card, Frostlass, and a Parasect. Well, he has, he's doing the portal action right there with Parasect. All right, we got Breakpoint and then Breakthroughs after that. Now, I'm forgetting, I think it's Breakthrough that has the Shining Gyarados secret rare card. I don't, I, I'm, I don't know, even know if I've ever pulled it before, actually, now that I think about it. In any case, either of these sets, if we can get one of those, I think there's a, a Mega Mew, oh, Night Party. <laughs> there's a Mega Mewtwo, I think, is in the set. Froakie pissing into there. Fear Seed, Electabuzz, Staryu, Namal. All night camera party, perfectly for the all night party card. That's where it came from, actually. Moving on. Now is where we got the Mega Mewtwo, but also I, I'm pretty sure the Shining Gyarados is in this set. If not, my editor will have put up a picture of it. Three cards. I still can't believe we pulled the Mega Alakazam EX. Heavy Boots, Fracture, Burning Energy, Scatterbug, Rufflet. Snover, Swablu, whoop, there it is, Ice Cream, and a Mega Mewtwo EX. How about that? It's not the full art, but I'll take it, just to showcase how beautiful these cards were way back when. All the way in, well, is that 2015? That's a long time, that's that's like nine years ago. Getting old, Peter, Peter Malak, all right. Ancient Origins, Ancient Origins. Very, uh, wasn't pop, wasn't too popular at the time. Pull rates were pretty difficult, but now I think it's got a little bit more respect, especially uh, some of the cards you can get, like the Groudon you saw in the pack art. Uh, three cards, I gotta remember that as I'm talking Whimsicott and opening up cards. Faded Town, Flash Energy, Porygon, Golurk, Inke, Oddish, Beldum, Beldum, <laughs> and a Vile Plume. Well, there goes that. All right, all right. One of my favorite sets of all time. Why? It has my second favorite Pokemon of all time. Natu! How do you do? Yes, you heard that right. And this is a game we're gonna have to play at home too, or if you're on the bus, or the car, or sleeping. Then if you're watching, well, you can be sleeping and watching this, but you know, whatever, you know, whatever works. If we pull a Natu, you have to say the words. Natu! How do you do? And we can pull them. Oh boy, yes we can. Otherwise we want like a Shaman or the Mega Rayquaza EX. There's a Rayquaza Spirit Link. Silcoon, Steven, Gligar, Meowth, Spiro. And there it is. Say it with me, my voice is gone. Natu, how do you do? Beautiful. Beautiful. Can we get the reverse of Natsu? No. Can we get a Talonflame? <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on. A new subset. That is Double Crisis. Kyogre and Groudon. Those are the two ultra rares, the two best cards in this subset. Only seven cards in this set. So we're just gonna kind of go into it. You can see the Team Magma and Aqua cards. I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, we got Laron, Aeron, <laughs> we got the Pooch. What's behind this is Team Magma's secret base. Then we have another Team Aqua Grunt. And then we have a Claydol Holographic card with the uh, Team Magma Grunts, I guess, that are in the background of the card, but pretty cool to see that card. Moving on, and I guess, sorry, we've been opening up X and Y packs since Evolutions. X and Y. Some incredible sets that you have been seeing, some that we're still gonna be opening. Uh, still good on time, right? We're still good on time. Okay, yeah, we are. XY Primal Clash. Uh, not my most fun set. When I used to go to Toys R Us way back when, uh, when it was still around in Texas, I, and I, technically it's coming back, actually, uh, they would have these packs and little blisters and stuff, and never really, they were always there. It was, that was basically all I wanted to say was they were always there. Sveal, a Bidoof, Chinchow, Electrike, Coolio, Skitty, and Diggersby loves to pudding. See, that's why. But, fun set, we got Phantom Forces. Yeah, there's the secret rare Gengar with the little like uh, gumdrops everywhere, but a card I have not pulled, ding, 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 ding. The silver card, I think it's, uh, 
It's not the Reshiram. Well, there's a silver card of one of the legendary Pokemon that's in this specific set, and I haven't pulled it yet. So I think that would be fun and be absolutely insane. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Like I, I tell you that, man, it is a beautiful card. So we can, can we channel that Mega Alakazam EX energy? Zerosic, Lysander's trump card, Bunnelby, Krabby, Goomy, Baby boo it's a pumpkin boo Chansey, having a drink or something. Tierno, and a Talon Flame once again. <laughs> that is okay, because we're moving on. Everyone, you can do a fist pump. Fist pump to Furious Fist. Lucario Full Art Trainer, probably the number one card that I would want to pull. I feel like I pulled it like not to, maybe in one of the previous times I did this video, but it'd be really nice to get the Full Art Lucario. Let's see what we can do. Focus Sash, a super scoop up for your pet needs. Cup Chew, Shelmet, Golette, Trap, Gotharita, Thunderous. At least it's the legendary, nothing too crazy. And speaking of legendary sets, XY Flashfire with Mega Charizard gracing the pack art. You got the full art Charizard, and then of course, you got the you got lots of Charizards in this set, but you want the full art one, which I have pulled in a video like a, a year or two ago, and then you want the secret rare version of Mega Charizard. There's the code for that. Let's see it. Very, it's a, it's, it's a decent set for hits. It's like, it's hard, that's what I mean. torgo has got the good stuff. It's hard to get some good hits, but let's see what we can do. Spritzy, Litleo, Duskull, Fletchling, Barbarical, <sighs> and a Carbink, and a Carbink. Moving on. We have the final X and Y pack with a Christmas tree just in time for Christmas and the holidays. Xerneas! Uh, you don't have a Charizard in this set, which is, you know, interesting, but you do have a Blastoise and a Venusaur full art, some of the best two cards, and there is a nice full art Xerneas. So more so than the Blastoise, more so than the Venusaur. Let's get that full art Xerneas to showcase how beautiful of a card it is. Three cards, three cards. Shauna of the Dead. Her dear. Double colorless energy. Slugmon Mustafar. Fire energy. Froki. Skitty. Shelter. Electrode. And we have another type of cupcake thing, a Slurpuff. But guys, don't, don't forget. Uh, chance at a Blastoise base set pack, Venusaur base set pack. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video. Let me know what's your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon of all time and why. Next up is black and white, starting out with legend. Wait for it, Dairy Treasures. This is such a fun set to open. Primarily because, I mean, there's also there's the, the, the Radiant Collection cards, but there's also two golden cards in this set that I have never ever pulled, and one of them is a Zekrom. So let's see what we can do today, because Black and White has a wide range of different series of packs that came out through the years. You got Plasma, which is decent uh, it's a lot I, I didn't like the I like them more now than I than I originally did and more in that later but we got legendary treasures to see what we can do with let's see if we can get lucky here's one of the radiant collection cards now you see the sparkle you see the fizzazz with all of those sparkles on the car okay I'll just move on Solosis, Zerua Dino Charmander Koba Lion, that is a reverse rare. Meloetta, and a beautiful Radiant Collection Growlithe. See, you got the little symbols of the flower petals and the sparkles again. Yeah, I'm really trying to sell that, but <laughs> we're moving on into the plasma sets. Uh, the hollow foil pattern, which you'll see if we pull one, is not, I just don't like that Pratt pattern as much. And these sets, were so difficult to get good cards in. So Plasma, probably, I think it's Plasma Storm, which is the third out of the three Plasma sets, if I can actually get this pack open, uh, is definitely the more sought after set because it has two secret rare cards that I think you're gonna really like, especially if we can somehow pull one. 
Yes, it's the Charizard and Blastoise, but it's uh, there's, there's other cool full arts in these sets as well. So let's see what we can do. And that's basically it. You really want to hit those full arts, but even opening up a full booster box of any of the Plasma sets, you'd only get like a few full arts. It was so difficult. And then Hollows. There's a Team Plasma Relicanth. It's just an uncommon. And then there we go. There's a Machamp Holographic. See, it has like the, the, the horizontal way, the sparkly path of it. And I just wasn't a fan, and I'm still not the biggest fan of that. But, you know, now seeing it now compared to the holofoils, eh, I'll take it sometimes. Black and white plasma free. freeze. It's, it's getting cold in here. It's supposed to be Mr. Freeze from the Batman and Robin movie, which I always found entertaining as a kid, but a lot of people don't like it, so. I mean, it had terrible, even the actors didn't like it. Vaporeon, Team Plasma, Crocorock, Hootie and the Blowfish. We have an Eevee, Sterly, Dratini, Nidoran Male, Voltorb, and a Hydreigon a Holographic. So I'm really not selling the whole it's difficult to get good pulls here. I mean, they are hollows and they're probably not worth much, but it was difficult to pull hollows in these sets, so. A Hydreigon and a Machamp Holographic, that's two, that's two out of three. Leading into the set with a beautiful Articuno gracing the pack art, this is the set that has those secret rares in it. This is the set that we are going to be pulling. Something magnificent. I can feel it, because I never have really before. I've never pulled the secret rares, much less just any of the ultra rares, which is so difficult to get. But let's see, getting a, you know, a turkey, pun intended. That would be something nice with another hollow. Lucario, that's just an uncommon. And then, Cherim. Well, we did get two holographics and we did move on to Boundaries Cross. Fun pack art always with the, I like the white snowy ice effect of the pack art. And it's just all the colors are so bright and vibrant on this set. Uh, never really opened up too much of it before. I don't, don't think I've ever opened up a booster box or anything of it. So let's just get a good dose of all the artwork that comes in this set. Rocky Helmet, Snivy, Taylo, Voltorb, Togepi, I like that card. Lillipop, Meloetta, that is a reverse rare. And Golduck. Golduck, yay. <laughs> subset alert, very fun subset. Dragon, Vault, every single card is a hollow foil. I think it does have the same pattern as Plasma, but uh, there's like the Rayquaza, uh, Dragonite, a few other cards that are the better cards to get in this set. But every sh every single card should be, like this bag on, is a hollow. So let's see what we can do. We have a Fracture, Dratini, Axew, and... Druddy gone. I will say, getting a hollow like this for every single card is pretty cool. Uh, but this looks like the main card right here is this Druddy gone. So, very cool. Now, one of my favorite sets of black and white is Dragon's Exalted. Uh, there should be a Mew full art and a Rayquaza full art that I've never pulled. And again, those would be absolutely enormous if we can pull either of those twos, but we got one pack to work with today. A Floatzel, Celio, Laron, Gibbs, Roselia, is that like the Atlantis Hotel or the Bellagio? <laughs> it's it's a, it, when the world is over, that's what it looks like. Ninkeda, Apom, again, Roselia in front of the Bellagio, and Dustox. Well, that was underwarming, but the next set is not. Black and White, Dark Explorers, lots of great cards in this specific set. But the next set, not greater than this set, but it's just a very, it's a set that holds a lot uh, to me memory-wise, and I'll explain that shortly. But let's see what we can do in Dark Explorers. We got N, Slowbro, Torkoal's always got the good stuff, Clink, Chansey, whoop, there it is, Shelmet, Zerua, Reverse, Galvantula for the non-holographic rare. But here's that pack I was just talking about, Black and White Next Destinies. This was, I opened up packs before, but not as much. It was really like this, around this time when this pack came out. 
I started opening up modern packs again. Like I remember going in to Walmart, seeing Mewtwo on the pack art cover. I'm like, no, I'll open up a, uh, a couple. And I pulled the Mewtwo EX, which eventually became the Mewtwo EX promo in like some, a product. But at the time it was like one of the best cards you can pull. And it was Mewtwo, Mewtwo's so cool. That drew me in to start doing modern openings again. Cause I was doing stuff with the older cards. Uh, I had a I had a channel back in like 2010. I was called Pokey Collector 20. I actually did a reaction to that video with a new video on this channel, maybe like a year or two ago. Um, really, really cringy. But uh, this so the set has just a lot. Uh, you know, I hold a lot to it. It's a very nostalgic set, uh, specifically because it's the set that virtually got me back into uh, modern pack openings, Pidove and collecting, oh, the newer stuff, C dot. Emolga and a Gardevoir. So we are treated with a little bit of uh, fun. Look at this very minimal. Oh, I guess that's Holofoil right there, but it's not as prominent as up there. But a Gardevoir, a holographic card for next destinies. Then we have some sets like Noble Victories and, and Emerging Powers. And then the original base set, which that one, I have a fun story for that actually. Three cards. We have Cover Fossil, Stunfist, Crustle, Pond, Trubbish, Stunfist, Sawaddle, Candle, Conkleder, and a Go Lurk. Emerging Powers, I've opened up actually a bunch within the past couple years-ish, and I've pulled countless times the best cards you can pull, which is the two legendary full art ones. There's no texture on those full arts, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, let's see if we can get one of the legendaries. That would kind of play into uh, I guess Emerging Powers, not being the most more popular of the black and white sets. Uh, it just has a couple nice cards. Uh, there's a Kobe Lion holographic. So uh, holographics are definitely being fruitful today for us with a beautiful Kobe Lion holographic. And then there was black and white. The original black and white base set has the full art Reshiram, has the full art Zekrom. Uh, my story about the set is I think in either the last opening up every pack video that I did or the one before, or I don't, maybe it's just a, a video where I was opening up black and white uh, within the past year. Uh, we pulled the secret rare Pikachu card from the set, which is uh, pretty difficult to pull. So let's see if we can get one of those full arts or maybe even that secret rare Pikachu once again, unless I'm thinking of it. Maybe, you know, it was secret, it was Pikachu, because there's a Meowth secret rare for another set. You're like, this guy doesn't know anything about what he opened up even within the past year. Well, you're right. Pignite, Revive, Zerua, Osh, Tapig, Blitzel, cool dark energy. Reverse is a Pignite. So I do actually like this card a lot. Like the artwork's really cool. The rare is a Swana of the Dead. Well, there you go. My goodness, look what pack we are up to now. Call of Legends, fun fact, this was only printed in English, Call of Legends. It was not printed in any other language. Actually, I take that back. It was not printed in Japanese, but I'm pretty sure there's French Call of Legends packs and maybe a couple other languages, but basically, it was only a subset, specifically uh, having other heart gold, soul, silver cards in this set. And the most important cards, I think there are 12 ish shiny Pokemon, like Rayquaza, like Lugia being the number one shiny Pokemon you can pull from Call of Legends. So, uh, base, I mean, I really say from here on out, but you got platinum and some uh, diamond and pearl. Like, not all the platinum and diamond and pearl are like crazy sets, but like, Call of Legends, Heart Gold Soul Silver sets, these are fun. These are some of my absolute favorite sets of all time. So let's see what we can do with Call of Legends. Maybe get a shiny luck and see what we can do. See, but look at how, how beautiful this is. The uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver cards had a more ancient type of look like scrollish type of look to the cards of the borders, which just really looked cool. Jolteon with the lightning stone and a weird face. <laughs> Don Fan, Chikorita, Pidgey, Relicanth, Hitmon Jackie Chan, Snubble. <gasps> and we did it already, a shiny Deoxys!
and shiny Deoxys! One pack magic! One pack magic! A shiny Deoxys has been pulled! I'm so sorry, Typhlosion! I'm so sorry! There's the Typhlosion! Yay! He's looking snive because we have pulled one of the shiny Pokemon. That's insane! This is the first shiny SL1. A shiny Deoxys. That is absolutely incredible. It's off center from right to left, but I'm, I'm not gonna grade it or anything. We're just making memories right now together and that is incredible from one pack. We got some one pack magic. All right, checking to make sure we're good on time and recording right now and we are as we're moving on to hard gold. Soul Silver, and what I present, Legend Cards. Not Legendary, they're just called Legend Cards, where you would get one and a half of each, put them together, and they would form some of the most, absolute most beautiful artwork you will see in the Pokemon TCG history. We have pulled some before, not just in general, but uh, opening up one of every pack video, I feel like we have pulled a Legend Card or two. Uh, if you pull it, I'm, I'm serious. It, it, they, it's just a magical type of card. Uh, getting both, I don't. it's not possible, but we can get two in different packs and different sets. Skaroopy, Psyduck, love it. Porygon 2, that is a uh, Uncommon, and a Magmortar. But a lot of, as you saw with the Call of Legend cards, the, uh, as a beautiful artwork here, uh, the borders of the cards, you know, that's how the Call of Legend borders were as well. But it started with the Heart Gold Soul Silver sets. Three cards. All right, away we go. Uh, obviously, I think one of the legend cards for this one is Rayquaza. I'm not really sure the other Pokemon with it. Maybe Deoxys? Slugma, seen some stuff. Oddish, Combi. Grimer's definitely seen some stuff. The reverse is a Team Rocket's Trickery. Cool looking reverse and a Caesar holographic card. You can barely see it, but there's the hollow foil pattern. Uh, and, and a very, very cool, sleek looking card. So not too valuable or anything, but the name of the game, as, as I said before, all of these packs are for my personal collection. I'm definitely not gonna be making bank out of uh, opening up these packs because you're almost never going to. It's just too hard to do it. But hopefully you are getting a lot of nostalgic memories out of this video and really enjoying it. All right, three cards. We got the Resident Evil Life Herb, Polyworld in Japan, Cheerleaders Cheer, Mankey, Zubat, Chin. <gasps> you gotta say it with me. You ready? Natu! How do you do? Love it. I, I have a surprise. I am surprised. Dunsparce and a Lucario with a banner in the background, non holographic. All right, this is right here. Heart Gold Soul Silver base set, the Legend Cards, Ho Oh and Lugia. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Hopefully my editor put a, a picture of what they look like on screen because they really are magical. Uh, I think this is one of the most underrated sets of all time. So many incredible cards. Playable cards as well too, but uh, the artwork is just absolutely fascinating. And let's see what we can do. Final Heart Gold Soul Silver pack. Then we move on to Platinum. Crocona, Copycat, we've seen copies. <laughs> Courtesy laugh. We've seen copies of that card throughout the years. Meryl, whoop, there it is. Growlithe, love the artwork on that one. And look at this energy. Look at it. Stop what you're doing and stare at the Celebi in the background. Reverse, and a right to a holographic. I feel like we pulled this one before, but I'll take it. A heart gold, soul silver, right to holographic card. Very nice. All right, guys, let's go back in time even more with Platinum Arceus. You can get those AR Arceus cards in this set. I feel like we pull one almost every time we open up one of these packs, but they are, believe it or not, rare cards to pull. But let's move on to Platinum and see what we can do. Maybe a little level X action. Bronzong Ultimate Zone Trainer card, neat. Ghastly, Cherubi, Makuhita, Pikachu. Wingle, Super Mario, Super Mario times two, that is a reverse rare. And Super Mario times three! It's a Super Mario Wonder. Holographic card, so a Pass, holographic card. 
I'll take it. Uh, so Platinum, one of my more favorite Platinum sets is Supreme Victors. You guessed it? Yes, it's because there's a Charizard in this set. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> if, if memory serves me right, this is the Charizard that is a reprint of the original base set Charizard that Mitsuhiro Arita originally illustrated. He, he added a little bit of a saturated red hue to it this time. We have pulled it up, we have pulled it in a video before. Not like a big long opening like one of these, as we have in Milotic. Uh, but we have pulled the Charizard before. It was magical. Let's see if we can do it again. Or even at this point, just get something like an ultra rare. Rhyhorn, Metagross, that is a reverse rare. And a Regigigas holographic card. Regigigas, not one of my favorite Pokemon, but for some reason when I see the artwork on a card, it's just so all the colors with it in the yellow just mesh well. And it really just makes me happy. Uh, seeing this in the holofull pattern is just really neat too. So, Regigigas holographic card. Moving on to a dabbing Caesar, Platinum Rising Rivals. Honestly, uh, Platinum base sets next. Uh, I, these two sets are decent. There's not anything that excites me too too much with these, unless this this, this is the set that has, and I'm probably getting a confused with one of the Diamond and Pearl sets, unless. This set has shiny Pokemon in it. Sunshore City Gym, like a shiny, was it shiny Eevee? There's Carrot Top, Gliscor, Kecleon, Shellos, Kakuna, Quagsire, Whiskash, Wiz Khalifa, and the rare is a Mr. Mime in battle. Usually you see Mr. Mime doing your daily chores and stuff like washing the windows on the Burj Dubai building, but here, Mr. Mime's actually battling. Moving on to the final, as we're making sure, recording. Moving on to the final Platinum pack. I did, oh, back in like 2018, open up a booster box of this stuff on the channel. Um, I, it was a couple level X cards. Is it, is it Empoleon or am I really again forgetting on this stuff? Uh, we got Valley, Plus Power, Houndoom, Tauros, Electrike, Chimchar, Skitty. Her ugly. Mighty Yenna is the uncommon reverse. And a Blastoise holographic card. Look at that water. Very nice. So a Blastoise holographic. That pattern in the background with the rainbow is beautiful. So very nice way to end off Platinum. But I do like Diamond and Pearl better than Platinum. And especially the Stormfront set, which I do believe does have a Charizard in it but it does have lots of other amazing cards, more so than Charizard. So let us see what we can do in Diamond and Pearl Stormfront. Dusclops, Pokey Drawer Plus, got Lucario in the background. Uh, is that po Pokey Drawler, excuse me. Voltor pissed off as always. Bidoof Claymation, Machop, Swine Up, Duskull, Pile of Swine, that is a uh, uncommon. The rare is a Cherum. All right, so a non-holographic Cherum. Moving on to Diamond and Pearl Legends Awakened. Uh, my favorite pack art for sure from this set. Otherwise, the set's decent. Uh, the next set, Majestic Dawn, I like even more. But that being said, we can be surprised. Watch it be this set that we pull something magical. All Night Camera Party, Swine Up, Namel, Lelip, Spoink. Oh, a beautiful Groudon. I'll take that. And Victory Bell. Yay for all the Victory Bell fans that are out there. Nice Groudon. And then here we go. We got the Majestic Dawn. I think I just really like the pack art. Like the blue of the pack art is really, really like sleek looking. And you just don't see it often out of all of the sets. So I think that's actually more so why I like this set. But we got some nice artwork as well, which you'll see. You got the T-Mobile Energy, Manectric, Stunky Leg, Eevee, Bronzor, Terrible, what a time is this, 2008 graphics. The bunny, a mom's kindness card. Very cool. And Amistar, non-holographic. All right, moving on. Uh, the next two diamond and pearl sets, including Great Encounters, are actually pretty rare sets to find, especially Secret Wonders. A booster box of that set is pretty difficult to find. I, I Honestly, I have no idea why. 
Uh, we yeah, have a beautiful Premier Ball. We got Gorbice, Mag Cargo on a Mountain, Porygon, The Phoebes, Kakuna, Ball Toy, Togepi, Cat Turn, creepy as ever. And a Swampert Holographic. I feel like I have pulled this one before in a video like this, but I'll take it. Holographic Swampert. All right, moving on to Secret Wonders. Uh, definitely a very, very great set with lots of cards to pull. Let's see what we can do in this one. Three cards. Make sure we're all good recording-wise and, or time-wise, excuse me. Recording's this way, and we are. We're just, a, we're getting to where the packs are then like each astronomically expensive. So for now, you just want to keep on making sure that it's actually recording. Sunkern, Trap, Raiko, Reverse. Not bad. And Solazard has been pulled. I was saying this set was good. I was saying this set was good, and it treated us well with a holographic Charizard. I'm getting as red as the card. No way. Look at that swirl coming out of its mouth. Swirl collectors, you're going crazy right now. I'm actually serious. There are swirl collectors out there. But look at that. I've never pulled this one before. With the swirl coming out of the mouth, I, I think it's cool. So a Charizard has been pulled. My goodness. Well, that was fun with the Raikou reverse. Moving on to Diamond and Pearl Mysterious. Mysterious treasures. See what we can do in this one. I don't know how we follow up that Charizard, but let's see. We got a Fossil Excavator. Still recording. Petasect. Sandy, Slackoth, Chikorita, Geodude, Zubat, Magikarp, Whiskalifa, and a Walray. <laughs> Not so much with that. Then we got Diamond and Pearl, the original base set. I have opened up this semi recently when I had some uh, blisters of this uh, like a year ish or two ago. Um, it does have some nice ultra rares, but nothing too crazy as some of the other sets, as you saw. So this is it, Diamond and Pearl base set. And then the next round of packs that you're gonna see are pretty cool, are pretty cool ones. And then after that, it's just insane. Ghastly, Glam Meow, and a Gengar. So look at the artwork on that one. Very nice, so a Gengar non-holographic. All right, again, check in to make sure as we move on. We have these packs. I'm actually just gonna grab them all. Pop Series packs. All of them together look beautiful. Like, look at that, like the artwork on them. I won't spoil the other ones just yet, but each of these only have two cards. Some of the other old, other ones have three cards, like an energy card as well. Uh, the, the biggest one would be Pop Series 5. It has a chance at the original way to get a Gold Star Umbreon. Uh, and these were made for the, the the Pokemon organized play leagues at the just local leagues and stores. And they were these were given out just to get you excited. Some of them do have ultra rares. One of them has like a Celebi or something as well that you can get, but definitely the fifth one. The fifth one alone goes for $500. This one pack that only has two cards, strictly because of the Umbreon. I know, it's crazy, I'm crazy, but let's begin. Top Series 9. And yes, these are packs that I opened up as well in the past as far as for these opening up every pack type of videos. What do we got? These go by pretty fast too. We got a Creepy Crow Gunk and a Gibble. Is it Gibble or Gibble? I've always said Gibble, but y'all can let me know. Uh, we got a Heatran on Pop Series 8. Again, I don't remember off the top of my head what like the main pulls from all of these are, but if we get something super nice, then we will celebrate. And you can see it has the Pokeball in the bottom right with the 8 for Pop Series 8. And then these, those ones came with energies. I think eventually they don't come with energies, they just come with the two cards. Like this feels very, very thin, so this may be even where it's just the, the two cards. And we have a Burmy and a Marie, and that's it. No more energy cards, sorry, we're done. We got a very cool Lucario on this one. Pop Series 6, checking again. 
checking time just to make sure. But let's see what we can do in this one. We only have two cards, but we do get a nice starter, a Turtwig. Patrulisu. Cool. But, and then there's this one. My goodness. It's like, if you ever want to slow roll a pack, this is the pack to do. Uh, because you want that Gold Star Umbreon. And then, just like that, uh, it's over. So, uh, I don't think anyone has ever pulled an Umbreon on a video. So, I will get up and start dancing if we do. But let's see. We got a, a Pikachu. Very nice. And... Oh, he builds maintenance. So, just like that, it's gone. Uh, you're crazy. I'm not crazy. Okay, I'm crazy. You're not. You're not. Uh, we got Pop Series 4. So some of these other ones, they do have the chance at those uh, EXs. So let's see what we can do in these. We have a Wobbuffet. Market. So nothing in that one. We have a beautiful Eeveelution pack art for Pop Series 3. So uh, just the pack arts again for... All of these packs really are absolutely beautiful. We got Ivy Source saying, hey, we got an Eevee. Just chilling. Nothing with that one. Two more of the Pop Series packs. This one has Venusaur bracing the pack arc for this one. Let's see if we get a Venusaur. We got the Barry Manilow Love Disc and Cacnea. So nothing crazy with that one. Final Pop Series pack. Pop Series one with Blaziken dancing on the cover. See if we can get something from one of these. I never do. Larvitar and Torkoal's got the good stuff once again. All right, we're moving on to the next sets. Uh, and again, from here on out, it is just insane. You got the EX series set, starting with Power Keepers. You have a card, something called the Gold Star card, like I was talking about the Embryon has a gold star on it. They are virtually the absolute rarest cards that you can pull in the English TCG. I'm talking about rarer than a first edition Charizard. Uh, this time when Pokemon was making all these EX series sets with the gold stars in it, uh, low print runs, so there's not a lot of these packs out there in general, because Pokemon just wasn't as popular. So there wasn't as much demand and supply. Uh, it was not as much made because of it for distributors. So as such, we have Power Keepers, um, and it's only two cards, nine additional cards. So lots of stuff to remember here, but shall we begin? Uh, and then I'll go into some of the gold stars for some of the other ones of, that I for sure know are in it, but let's see what we can do in this one. Why not? Nacho, Vulpix, Shellgon, and the reverses do have the logo on the bottom right, which I think is cool. And Sableye, non-holographic. All right, so if you wanna pay attention, this would be a good one to pay attention to. We got EX, Dragon Frontiers, the gold stars in this one, Mew gold star, a Charizard gold star as well. And I think there's one more gold star too. I'm forgetting. It's not the Pikachu. No, the Pikachu is in like Holland Phantoms. In any case, let's make sure we do the card trick right. Uh, and these, yeah, these packs are a lot of fun to open, but they do go by faster because they only have a couple of cards. And there's, of course, there's ultra rares as well. Pupitar, Ralts, whoop, there it is. Bagons be Bagons. Elekid, that's just a, uh, that's just the common, but it still looks really neat. The rare is a Dugong non-holographic. Okay, EX Crystal Guardian, Celebi Gold Star, Alakazam Gold Star, and I think this is the one with Gyarados in it. Uh, but again, it may only have the two gold stars. As such, there's also Charizard Blastoise holographic cards. You really want the reverse version of those more so than the hollow one because it has the logo on it. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Uh, it would be insane for only opening up one pack of each of these sets to pull a gold star in today's video of just how rare it is. Beautiful graphics, Windstorm, Gulpin, Metatite, Brabby, Seedot, beautiful Squirtle. Squirtle's my favorite Pokemon if you didn't know. Aeron, cool looking uh, Spearow, just the common though. The rare is a Vampire Igly buff. All right, so nothing in that one, but the next one. 
Hollow and Phantoms, probably because there's a Gyarados on this one. This is probably the set that does have the Shining Gyarados Gold Star. Uh, Hollow and Phantoms, it's definitely one of the more valuable of the uh, EX Series sets. Up there with Team Rocket Returns and Deoxys. So let's see what we can do. At this point, just getting something above of what we've been getting would be nice. Dawn Fan, Gloom, making sure we're recording. Pikachu, Claw Fossil, Pooch, Ball Toy, Trap, the reverse, is a Combuskin. That's just an uncommon. You can see the logo there. The rare is a Relic Hand. That's a little disappointing. I'm sorry about that, but it's gonna happen. We got EX Legend Maker. So I, I think there's, I think the EX Power Keepers may have had the Eeveelution Gold Stars and Legend Maker has Raikou, Suicune uh, for those. Um, and Entei. Okay, making sure it's two again. Sorry, I was trying to remember the other gold star. Dunsparce, Cascoon, Skitty, Shoop, there it is, Magnemite, Clam Pearl, Bell Sprout. Oh, a beautiful Kabutops! So a reverse rare Kabutops, and it's swimming too. Looks like it has wearing shoes there. Weird. Anyway. We got a Lapras holographic, so about time. We got two for the, the price of one in one pack. So very, very nice. But just so you can see, there is the gorgeous Lapras. All right, we had a little bit of a dry spell there since the Charizard. EX Delta Species, uh, back in 2018, a video on the channel, pulled a Gold Star, a Gold Star Groudon, got it graded by PSA, it came back to PSA 10. That was way back when in 2018. Let's see if we can get, uh, I think it's uh, Metagross, Groudon, and Kyogre Gold Star. Let's see. Uh, that was a nice little warm up for the previous track. Let's see if we can get us something above that. Pupitar, Magnemite, Ponyta with the little Holland's Tower in the background is kind of neat. Meowth with the tower in the background again. Staryu, Creepy Ditto. I always found these cards creepy, but these are pretty popular cards for the right people. Reverse is a shell gone. The rare? Oh, that's very unfortunate. A darkness energy, yay. Moving on. Well, I may take back what I said about what gold stars are in what set. <clears throat> I don't think there's gold stars in this set, but if there are, I apologize for not knowing. There are though. Unseen Forces is, I think, one of the most underrated sets of all time because of the ultra rares like Lugia and plenty of other ones. There are so many ultra rares in EX Unseen Forces. Such a great set. If there's any set of the EX series sets that doesn't get as much love, it's definitely Unseen Forces. Oddish, <clears throat> Slugma, Chin, Unknown, a nice little swirl at the top. Oh, is that the rare? No, that's the, oh, that's the reverse. There's no logo on it, nice. And then a cool looking Hitmon on Bruce Lee. That's kind of cool looking, but I'll take this. Holographic unknown. It's just unknown. There's no letter associated with it. Moving on to EX Emerald. There are no gold stars. I know that for a fact in this set, unless it's a random mispackaged pack, which I'll take. Uh, but yeah, EX Emerald. Uh, there's a lot of cool ultra rares in this set as well. There's Lumberries too. Minun, Pichu, Metatite, Mudkip, Pikachu, this is also a promo in a type of tin, I believe you can get up, opened up. I've opened up two. Beautiful, look at that fighting energy card, 106 out of 106. And Glalie, but that energy, how about that? Fist bump. All right, moving on to the most valuable EX series set. This is an EX Deoxys. These packs go for like seven to $900 per pack. Why? Well, there's a certain gold star called Gold Star Rayquaza. The most valuable gold star there is, but don't let it stop you from wanting to pull the Latias and Latios gold stars. Those legendaries are also here. And then there's cool ultra rares, like a couple different form Deoxys ultra rares to pull. So the set offers a lot, but it's just so pricey and just so not worth it to open. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Manectric, Plessel, Magikarp, Shroomish, Coughing, Swablu. 
We have the pooch. The reverse is beautiful. It's a Magikarp. EX Deoxys logo on it. And oh, it's, a, it's an Altaria holographic. So I'll take that. I kind of. I'll just have to take it because that's what I pulled. But it's a hollow, so at least it's something. And then the Magikarp was cool. Next up, probably the second most valuable EX series pack, because the packs are up again, five to $700 for this one. Uh, and this is uh, three different gold stars of Swamper, no, excuse me, Mudkip, Torchic, and Trico. I have pulled on the channel. <laughs> I feel like I've done everything by now. Did I hit the camera? Sorry about that. Uh, we did pull a Mudkip gold star on the channel a few years ago by now. Again, um, this may be the last chance. Yeah, this is the last chance to pull a gold star. We have more EX series packs, but this is the last chance to pull a gold star today. Dark, he's a Sith, Matt Cargo. Whoop, there it is. Psyduck on the beach. Rhymer, Spin, Kafifi. Pilot Swine, that's a reverse rare. Hit with the logo on the right, that's decent. And Dark Radicate. He's a pissed off Radicate. Moving on to one of my favorite sets of all time. So many incredible cards. Of course, the games are amazing, but you got EX, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Making sure we're good on time there. Still recording there. There are uh, three secret rare birds that you can pull, the birds. And then of course, there's the three ultra rares, including the Charizard EX, which would be magical to pull any of those cards. And then there's the secret rare Charmander and Charmeleon also, I believe, too. So lots of cool cards in this set. Granite, my luck, probably not gonna pull. We did pull the Charizard earlier, though, so I'll take that. It's Charmeleon Air, Magnemite, Bulbasaur, Magikar, Ponyta, Slowpoke, Oh, a beautiful reverse rare Beedrill. Little Pokeball on it. And the symbols, if you take a closer look, you can see the energy symbols and stuff on the card. Got a Victory Bell! A Victory Bell. So the Leaf Pokemon take over with a Victory Bell holographic and the reverse rare Beedrill. All right, next up we got EX Legends of the Hidden Temple. No gold stars, but there are some nice legendary ultra rares in this set. I definitely have not opened up the next few sets that often. Uh, I just, I feel like they're just not printed as much, uh, especially the next set, Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Got Desert Runes, where Goku and Vegeta fought. We got Island Cave, where Rey from the bad Star Wars movies trained. Totodile, CDOT, Beldum. I like that Togepi card though. Sunny Casform. That is a reverse rare with the fire type, fire energy on it. And Pinsir Holographic. So the name of the day today has been just hollow after hollow. In fact, I don't even remember the, remember the last time we pulled an ultra rare. But again, the Charizard is one of the best cards to pull from the, what we pulled before. We have Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Let's see. Let's see what we can do in this one. The next pack after this though, such a rare, rare, one of the rarest sets ever. Team Aqua Belt, Team Magma Belt, got that out of the way. Chin, Nummel, <laughs> Corfish, Pooch, Ball Toy, Carvana, na na na. Love it, the reverse, and Crawdunt. Well, did I tell you I wasn't the biggest fan of that set? But this set, there is a Charizard, never pulled it before, EX, Dragon, these packs are so expensive and so rare at the same time. We're opening it up today. But again, I don't take any of this opening for granted. I do this because I love it. I love y'all, the Heart Squad, this community, the Pokemon community. And so I truly hope that y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. I did the card trick wrong. I knew there was something fishy. Uh, EX Sandstorm and EX Ruby Sapphire, they're coming up next. They have weird card tricks. So I will not be doing the card trick for those as we have a Vibrava. I'm not sure if that's the rare, but usually you can also, there's another spot in these cards. Uh, and you do notice the little e-reader thing at the very beginning of a fair peripheral for Game Boy Advance from way back when. We have a Seedra, Swellow. Well, that was it. Just like that. Very, very valuable pack. We got the Graveler though. So, kind of neat. 
Moving on to Darude Sandstorm, we got EX Sandstorm. So cool looking pack, decent set. I like Ruby and Sapphire, which is up next a bit more. Uh, let's see if we can get an Ultra Air. We gotta break the mold. Oh, I did the card trick. I'm so sorry about that, guys. So I think uh, we'll just go through it. Oh, we got an Umbreon is the non-holographic rare. But you gotta check out all of the artwork nonetheless on all of these sets. There's a lot of sand. I guess Sandstorm kind of gives it away. Lotad, Inerith, and a Lily. Well, now we have EX Ruby and Sapphire. This is the first pack that Nintendo and Pokemon Company USA, once they lost the light, once Wizards of the Coast lost the license, those packs are coming up next. This was the first set. This is the set that introduced Ultra Rare EX cards as well. So you'll see a cool little border when we pull one. I know we will. Nine additional cards just because of printing cost and everything at the time. We'll not do the card trick, but there are great Ultra Rares. Uh, you got Mewtwo EX and Scyther. Wingle, Zigzagoon, Pooch, Potion. And there we go! An Electabuzz EX! I told you it's gorgeous. I told you, there's more. There's more Pokemon Reversal, Swellow, Electrike, and a rare Sharpedo. But that is it, my friends, an Electabuzz EX. Beautiful, beautiful card. Be sure to actually sleeve this one up, an Electabuzz EX. We have made it, we've made it to Wizards of the Coast from here on out in every single pack that had the chance to be first edition except the base set ones, they're all first editions. Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes, Rocket, Jungle, it's all first edition. Otherwise, we're starting right now with my, Leonhardt's favorite set of all time, a Sky Ridge slash Subway pack. Crystal Charizard. In one of the best videos that I've ever done pull-wise, you can go watch, I pulled not only the Crystal Charizard from a Sky Ridge pack, and I only opened up one Sky Ridge pack, opened up an Expedition pack, which we'll be opening up shortly, and I pulled a Charizard, the best hollow you can pull from that pack in the same opening. I still have to pull a Reverse Charizard, and let's see if we can make some magic happen. But otherwise, the hollows in this set, the artwork in this set, just the illustrators had so much free reign to do so much with the cards in 2003 when Wizards of the Coast was losing their license. So I humbly say, please, please, please sit back, relax, if you haven't already, and really enjoy the next three E-Series sets. Yes, they are gorgeous. A Mirage Stadium. Mystery plates. You got the Magna Carta over here. But uh, this is where the e-reader peripheral was supposed to have been used. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just to get some mini games and stats for different Pokemon. Uh, and you would scan it with the Game Boy Advance type of tool. Delibird Express. We have a Rattata. Zubat, Venomoth, we already at, oh is it a hollow? It is a Houndoom holographic card. Glistening and sparkling and it, honestly, it is just gorgeous. A Houndoom holographic, but now we got the reverse. The reverse could be even bigger fireworks and I haven't even sleeved this yet. Let's see it, it's a Steelix reverse rare, not bad. But wait, there's one more. The non-holo is another Houndoom. So there we go, a Houndoom holographic. I do gotta sleeve this up pretty, pretty fast because these Skyrish cards could be in excellent condition. I pulled a Starmie once, and I, oh, twice, and I got a grade it twice, and it came back PSA 10. So now we got the Houndoom, we got the Steelix over here, and we got the non-holographic. Moving on, Aquapolis, Crystal Lugia. 
I have never pulled it before. I have never pulled it before. Difficult card to pull in the E-Series set, the second one. But otherwise, Gorgeous Hollows. Let's see if we can follow up that Sky Ridge with a Fire Cube 01. Again, uh, a Sky Ridge pack, just so you know, goes for around $1,200 to $1,400 for one pack. Aquapolis, around seven dollars to $900 for one pack. So definitely, please, please, please enjoy what are gorgeous, some of my favorite sets of all time. Marie, him on top. Scyther mowing the grass. Are we already at the rare? Gotta slow down here. Not yet. Lick a tongue. Drowsy sitting in a tree that is a reverse common. And a Hedisex non holographic. I like the artwork for that one though, I like the illustration of it. All right, so now we got expedition base set. This is the one that I had pulled the holographic Charizard. There's no crystal cards in this set like Sky Ridge and Aquapolis. However, there are tons and tons of amazing artworks and holographics that you can pull. Gengar, Dragonite, the, uh, the Charizard, two different Charizards in fact. So let's see if we can pull another Charizard. Starting off, Mary's Impulse, Dragonair, Krabby, Ponyta, Switch, Hatterpiece seen some stuff. And an Arbok holographic! Look at that! Look at that beauty! We got room for a reverse rare Charizard, folks! And it's a Charmeleon! I thought it was. I thought it was. And then we got a Typhlosion. So we got a reverse rare Charmeleon, excuse me, a reverse uncommon Charmeleon, but this Arbok holographic car. Beautiful, beautiful artwork on that one. And then, like I said, the beautiful Charmeleon Air. Well, if you want an even more crazier pack, you got Legend, say it with me, Dairy Collection. This pack, obviously very valuable pack, was only released in English. Uh, I don't even think it was released in any other language other than English. Uh, supposed to be base set three, but they made it an amalgamation of different types of sets from the previous ones that you'll see open. Uh, I don't think anyone has ever on video pulled a reverse rare Charizard. You want the reverses more so than the hollows in this set. That's what a crazy, and you'll know when you pull a reverse. But that's what's fun about these packs, uh, Legendary Collection is, you want the reverse more so than anything in the rare spot. So, I like the artwork for this one out of all of the artworks. Uh, I don't think, I'm not gonna do the card trick because I don't really remember it. I don't think you actually need to do the card trick if now that I'm actually remembering it. Uh, what's fun about these uh, sets though, a lot of times you'll get like a pack that has fire types and water types. And so you'll get a couple of the same Pokemon, but a very nice Charmander with the legendary collection little badge on it. So a Charmander uh, base set, but obviously in the potion as well was. And then you get, see the next stage of it, the stage of Charmeleon Air. But this time, legendaries. Oh, and then another Charmander. Rever what it would be insane if we get the reverse. Ponyta. And then watch the reverse or the rare be like a, a water Pokemon. Rapidash. Villain in Fuego here. Ponyta. Should we slow roll it here? No, we got another a Volpix. So all fire types so far. And we got a... Energy Retrieval goes with the potion. And we have a rare, so the reverse is actually after this, but this would be the rare spot for where a hollow would be. Oh, it's a Pokemon breeder, not even a Pokemon. Well, if there, is there any print lines on this thing? From a fast glance, I don't see any print lines on this thing, but yeah, you need you need glasses for the fireworks on this card. A Pokemon breeder is the reverse. So imagine getting that, but with Charizard, it would be crazy. Okay, if you haven't stopped what you're doing already, you better, guys. Neo Destiny First Edition. Yes, I said that right. A first edition Neo Destiny pack. Shining Charizard, oh, Shining Charizard. 
Not just the Shining Charizard, you got a Mewtwo, you got, you got a Raichu, you got a Celix, you got a Celebi, all in what is a fantastic set. It really, it's a set that introduced light Pokemon as opposed to dark Pokemon that you saw in Team Rocket and other sets. Uh, and I believe this is the only time that you see light Pokemon. So first edition, Neo Destiny, first edition, Neo Revelation, which also has two Shinings that you can pull. Let us see what we can do. Uh, card trick, I don't know it. So I'm just gonna kind of go into it and wish us luck. Bullpix. Uh, I'm not sweating, you're sweating. Dratini. Venonat. Seal. I'll go slower when I'm lifting up the card just to make sure it's the final card. A Gligar. Is that the rare? That would be unfortunate. Oh, it is. And sorry, I didn't go slower because I just saw it was a trainer. Imposter Professor Oak's Invention. So just like that, you are left with a light Pokemon, light Venomoth. See, it's so bright and cheery. Yeah, well, there goes that pack. That's okay, because the next pack, a first edition Neo Revelation, Shining Magikarp, Shining Gyarados, never pulled either. In fact, I really haven't pulled much from this set. I feel like Neo Revelation is a very, very rare set. Uh, again, let's see what we can do. Please, please, please enjoy these openings. Quagsire, Schnubble, Slugma, Zubat, Golding, Apom, Raichu, there you go. So a first edition non-holographic Raichu. I do love the artwork of it. We got, <laughs> oh hello, my name is Matt Cargo. Just let me be happy. Graveler and Falafi. Unfortunate with those two, but a, a set that's always treated me well, and no, it's not worth $3.29, is Neo Discovery. Umbreon Hollow, Espeon Hollow. I've pulled the Espeon a couple times. I don't think I've ever pulled the Umbreon Hollow, which is the best card from the set. So let's see if it can treat us well. There are Natsu in this set, so you gotta yell for sure if we get a Natsu. More so than if we actually pull something. Poliwag. Unknown, Teddy Ursa, whoop, there it is, Ammonite, Poppip, are we at the rare already? No, Uncommon, Unknown, Un yeah, Unknown, Fossil Egg, that's just an Uncommon, so calm down here. We got a, oh, is, is the final card actually the rare, or did I skip it? It is? Oh, it's a Houndoom non-holographic rare. Hey, we got a Houndoom Hollow earlier from Skyridge, so I'll take that. Moving on, the final Neo set. First edition, first edition Lugia. I actually have pulled a first edition Lugia on the channel a couple of years ago. Uh, first edition Lugia, you also want the T17 Typhlosion card, so that would be great. Uh, and again, let's see what we can do what is a first edition Neo Genesis pack. Ooh, I guess it's just getting right into it, facing this way. Uh, make sure it's actually on screen. Oh, is that the, is that the rare is really a recycle energy? <laughs> well, there's an Electabuzz, Sprout Tower, Quilava, Shuckle, don't mess with Shuckle, please. Double Gust, Letty, Meryl, Onyx and a Chikorita. So sorry about those, didn't really have much in it, but this first edition gym, please have something. Uh, Blaine's Charizard, or my favorite holo from this set, is Blaine's Arcanine. And I will attempt to do the card trick for this one. Gym Heroes, I always found to be different. This is usually three, unless I'm doing it wrong. Saffron City Gym. Blaine's Quiz number three. Stay with me. Energy, Misty's Magikarp, Misty the Misty, Misty's Poliwag, G. Giovanni's Machop, Koga's Coughing, Sabrina's Porygon, Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, and the rare is H.G. Giovanni's Gyarados. 
And Sabrina's Haunter, which is a beautiful looking card. My goodness. Oh, that is gorgeous. Getting a sleeve for this one. A first edition Giovanni's Gyarados. Beautiful looking card. Always get nostalgic. Seeing this artwork of this specific one. I'll take it, because next up we got first edition Gym Heroes, Sabrina's Gengar, Blaine's Maltress would be the top two cards to pull from this. Let's see it, Gym Challenge treated as well. Let's see if Gym Heroes can. So again, not sure if it's three or a different type, but we shall see. Brock's Raveler, Misty's Tentaculio, Fire Energy, Brock's Volpix, Misty Seal, Tenet Surge's Spiro, Sabrina's Venonat, Erica's Oddish, Misty's Shelter. I think we're here, unless I pulled it accidentally. It's a trainer, but it's a Team Rocket trainer! The Rocket's Trap First Edition Hollow in a Cerulean City Gym. I'll take it. I know it's not the most craziest pull, but there's a swirl hitting up Jesse's hair. And it really is such a cool looking card. First edition Team Rocket, the Rocket's Trap card. All right, moving on. Of course, this set. This set has my favorite card of all time. Yes, we're recording. That would be not the Charizard, not the Blastoise, not even that Dragonite. It's a common Squirtle card. It's my favorite card of all time. Why? It's because Squirtle is awesome. But a first edition Team Rocket pack. Shall we? Uh, should be three cards. This one usually is not funky. Starting off with a first edition Dark Muck. Full Heal Energy. Dark Flareon. Whoops. Don't want to skip. It could be a Squirtle. Abra. Ekans. Oh, I thought that was the Squirtle. Psyduck. Very nice Charmander. Machop. Are we at the rare? Nope. Slope. Oh man, did we really not get a squirrel out of all that? We better get something here. Or after this, Dark Radicate. The rare is. What do we got? What do we got? It's a Dark Jug Trio. First edition, breaking through the room. Even if this was hollow, it's a beautiful hollow if it was, but it's the non hollow version of a Dark Doug Trio. Moving on. This one is a long crimp, actually, of a base set two pack. Now, this didn't come in first edition. It only came in this type of unlimited format, I guess you can call it. But the fossil and jungle packs after this are first edition. So, uh, you know the cards to pull. It's literally just the reprint of a, a couple of the first sets. Uh, I really don't know the card trick for this one. So we'll try to just slow roll it, maybe guess a little of the energies. If there's an energy in this pack, I guess psychic energy. If there's two, I guess psychic and leaf energy. Do Duo, Magnemite, Caterpie, Poliwag, and a Chansey Holographic. Oh my goodness. Oh. What do we got for the energy? <gasps> psychic energy! This is psychic energy! Pats on back! Psychic energy, and then I didn't get the water energy. But how about that? A beautiful base set to Chansey Holographic. I always enjoy seeing in the hollow foil pattern, if you didn't know, is different from the base set. It's called the Cosmos foil or Galaxy foil for the type of background of the foil. It's so cool. I think it's cool. All right, we just have three packs remaining. Before, if you want a chance at either of these two packs, you get them sealed, of course, Blastoise of Venusaur. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon of all time and why? For a chance, two base set packs. I'm opening up, obviously, the Charizard, but we got Two first edition packs to go. We got Fossil, a lot of people's favorite set. Dragonite would be the holographic I would like to pull, obviously. Uh, lots of other incredible cards like Gengar and Articuno. Uh, should be three cards. I don't think this one's too much trickery. We have first edition Sand Slash, Golbat, Arbok, Horsey, Mysterious Fossil, Ekans, 
Rhymer. Shelder. Krabby. Are we already at the rare? We have! No, it's a Geodude. But now we're at the rare. It's a Magneton First Edition non holographic. But you know what set's gonna have something good? A Flareon artwork First Edition Jungle Pack. One of the Evolutions would be nice. I'll take a hollow, don't get me wrong. Uh, Jolteon's probably the most valuable one out of all of them. So, let's see what we can do. Ride on. Firo. Also look out for a, there's a misprint Butterfree card in this set. Uh, the first edition symbol. Looks like a, the one that looks like a D actually. It's, or if you see any other errors, of course, always let me know in the comment section to go back and see. Eevee, Jigglypuff, Nidoran female, Spiro, Oddish, and I think we're here. It's a Pidgeot non hollow but I have to say, growing up, this card was one of my favorite cards of all time, more so the hollow, obviously, but I'll take a first edition Pidgeot, which finally did come back in the anime. Hold it. Moving on to what is. Making sure we're recording. Moving on to what is. The final pack. Well, now this specific pack, when I didn't weigh any of the other packs, but this specific pack, when I purchased it, it was weighing over 21 grams. Now the thing is, uh, this pack was supposed to be heavy, but now I'm not really sure because now it's coming in. I don't know if the air just decompressed when I put it in storage until now. It's coming in under 21 grams, but right around 20.96. Usually that's not a hollow on the inside, but we shall see. Again, I hope you enjoyed myself opening up every single pack in Pokemon card history. I always truly enjoy this and more announcements and cool stuff to come uh, on this channel. So again, please be sure to subscribe and please do hit that notification bell as well. So let us see what we can do in the final pack. Dare I do the card trick? I'll do it, but it should be three, but it changes, I hope. But starting off with it, we have a Kadabra, who's now back in the Pokemon TCG after being some magician blocked through the whole legal thing for decades. Kadabra, Nidorino. I don't even need to tell y'all the cards to pull from this set. Defender. Starmie. Bulbasaur, very nice. Magnemite. Uh, usually there's energy, so I'll do a guess the energy. Final guess the energy of today. Uh, I'll do Psychic and Psychic. Two Psychics. Pidgey. Hollywag. We had the first... Energy! Do we have another energy? Energy! And then we have... A super energy removal, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Click on the video right now if you're watching. I promise you, you will enjoy it. Stay awesome, stay positive, my friends, and I will see you in the next video.